Hey guys, Dre back with you. Uh, as you can tell, I'm, I'm wearing somebody's little Oscar pants here, so I'm gonna try to keep it on the down low. But this is it's actually pretty cool because we're in San Diego. Uh, you can, you know, we're in Balboa Park, really cool view of the city here. And I thought this would be interesting because we're actually in the middle of a power outage here. And uh, so there's no power anywhere from like LA and south. So nothing. So <laughs> apparently a power plant. Uh, was overloaded or something somewhere and no one has any power so we're gonna see hopefully that it gets restored soon enough but I thought well on the topic of power why not let's let's talk about power in our workouts now we just climbed I don't know maybe 50 stairs and the other day I sent you guys or I shared with you a video of me doing a stair workout and that's an awesome workout so one of the one of the ways to develop more power more strength and burn more calories is to do a workout with increasing load. So if I did that same workout with Oscar tied towards me, he's about 16, 17 pounds, that would add much more difficulty to the workout. So just by going up these 50 stairs or so, I added a 16 pound baby to the load. So that obviously makes things more challenging. And that's the same principle you want to apply in your workouts. The beautiful thing about having a child is that normally they increase in weight. So that's the beauty is that you get stronger as they age and get heavier. If they got less heavy or lighter, then you'd actually get weaker the same uh, as you progress as well. So with your workouts, you probably hear the fire engines, it's pretty crazy, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, with your workouts, the same thing applies. You don't always want to be doing the same workouts. You want to be doing things that are going to be challenging your body, you know, whether it's body weight stuff, if you're doing 20 push-ups one week, add, a new, add one more push-up the next workout, add two more push-ups the workout after that add five more pounds when you're lifting weights. You're always looking to challenge your body to new levels. And here comes an airplane. <laughs> we'll get a shot. This is actually pretty awesome. That, that just made my day. I love planes. That was awesome. <laughs> Wicked. I'm happy that we shared that together. So, uh, what we're talking about? Uh, increasing load, power. Yeah, so principle, you know, one of the first principles in fitness is progressive overload. It's not doing the same weight all the time, increasing the weight you're lifting so that your muscles are constantly challenged and stressed in a good way to new levels. So, that is today's lesson. Get to your workouts, add a little bit more weight. A good rule of thumb is about 5 to 10% more every 10 days or so. You don't want to go crazy, but do what you can to challenge your muscles to new levels. And we're not talking about 20 reps, we're talking about 6 to 8 repetitions, really building that strength in the muscles. And women, don't worry, you're not going to bulk up. This is going to help you get lean, toned muscles and help you burn more fat. So that's today's lesson. Hopefully this guy hasn't woken up. We're going to continue walking around and hopefully the power will be on sooner than later. And uh, I'll be sure to put, in the, put together another video for one of my other workouts that I'll be doing down here in San Diego for you soon.